beautiful people. Welcome back. I'm so glad that you guys are here. Welcome to a day of spring planting. We have some DIYs and a little bit of spring decor. But first up, I wanted to show you the beautiful roses we received from Forever Rose. They are based out of New York. And if you guys click my discount link below, they are absolutely no conditions and you can receive $20 off of your first bouquet. So let's look at these beautiful, beautiful roses. But I have chosen the Essential Crystal Pearl Pink Nine. You guys, look how pretty these are. This has a top that you can remove. And you know me, I love, love crystal boxes. And this has a drawer down below. You can either leave it empty or I put my pearls in there for a further accent just to go with the pearls around the box. I am going to save so much money without having to buy fresh roses throughout the year. And yes, they will last one year. Their website is absolutely beautiful. And I am encouraging you to keep an eye on their shop because new collections are constantly being launched. They have multiple bouquet styles and design them according to your wishes and needs. So the options are absolutely endless when it comes to choosing a rose color that will fit any occasion and style. You are welcome to use my discount code right below this video to get $20 off your first bouquet at Forever Rose New York. So this is your compost pile? Oh God, please don't be filming. That's awesome. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Oh my God. So this is ivy and this is some basil going a little crazy. There's parsley right here. Gardening space is very limited here. I like the rooster. And we're going to go ahead and plant up our bulbs. And I'll show you guys. These actually did very well. I did check on them a couple of weeks ago. These are our paper whites and our hyacinth. No cocoa. So I'm gonna show you guys. So basically what I did is I kept them in the box throughout the winter and I did spritz them from time to time and we put some paper on the top. So these are our paper whites. And actually look, you guys are starting to grow. And then we have our hyacinth. Go ahead and take these out. Oh, I lied. Actually, these are <laughs> these are muscari, and these smell so good. And they actually did very, very well. I don't see any of them that are rotten. And our hyacinth did really, really well. And I think the thing is to do, yeah, none of them are rotten. The thing to do is not put so many in each box. Otherwise, they will rot. And if I do wait a couple more weeks to plant these, they will actually start rotting. So we're gonna go ahead and plant these up. And I'm gonna go ahead and put all the hyacinth in here. Again, this was a box, literally, that like stood like this. You guys probably saw it by my fireplace for years. <laughs> and I, as previously sh I showed you, I put all of the plastic inserts and kind of cut them to fit. And I'm gonna actually keep them in the house because it is actually gonna snow again tomorrow. So I think this is actually going to do very well. I actually, I'm really glad that I didn't throw this away. And voila. And this is the carnation. And actually, I didn't know that there was two clumps. So we're going to go ahead and put that in another pot as well. And here is the second carnation. And I'm going to put the mascari in this pot right here. I've actually had this pot for years. I think I got this at Pesci's. And these are not cheap. It's a faux bois um like tree trunk and i actually have another one over here and i have a smaller one too i'm not sure where it's at oh there it is 
So right here. Yeah, my garage is a little messy, but that's okay. And I'm not filling this up all the way because the mascara don't really have a lot of deep roots, so that'll be fine for right now. Kind of start from the outside. Just make sure you put the right end up. Yeah, none of these are rotten. I'm so excited. This is like the first year where I've not had anything rot on me. It's kind of nice outside today, but as like I said, we're going to get rain later on today and we're going to get snow tomorrow. Now we have our loofah and I did get these from the dot com. As you can see there, I'll put that link below. These are loofah esmeralda and we're going to grow loofahs this year. Trying for the fourth time in a row, so we're gonna, definitely going to get an early start. We're gonna put one in each. And what I love about these, these are biodegradable and you can plant the whole thing in the ground. And I am gonna use my seed starting mix that I have from last year. This is from Jiffy, it's natural and organic. I'm going to do I'm gonna to have to bring these inside so I'm actually gonna use the empty potting mix bag and I'm just gonna put like a regular bag in here and place this inside and yes I do love this fresh ball box I got this at yes I did get this at Pesci's and this is Smith and Hawkins you guys have probably had this for over 10 years and what I do is I'm just gonna place these in so we can find them so again when we buy them for fall So yeah, last night we get, did get quite a bit of snow, enough to cover everything. And it's so cold out here, you guys. I'll just show you the ones in the back. And they still look okay. And this little tree right here, the Alberta spruce is doing really well. It hasn't blown over anymore. So what I'm going to show you, so these are individual plants, I'll show you one that has a little bit more of a crown. So as you can see right here, what you want to do is you want to, I'm probably going to cut these off too, you want to plant them right here at the crown. You want to make sure that these are above the soil. And you want to make sure that these are below the soil because otherwise you are going to decrease the production of your strawberries. And that's what happens a lot. People just plant these a little bit either too deep or too shallow. So we're going to go ahead and plant to right here. And I love using this potty mix. It is so nice and light and you don't have to add any fertilizer.
Now we're just going to give them a little bit of water and of course we have to keep them inside because it's too cold outside. And thank you for helping me Barbie. Thank you Coco for supervising. And we have our coleus that we overwintered and you guys this is so easy. All you have to do is pinch it and put it in some water and it will root up. And uh, we saved a lot of money by not having to buy more plants. And this is our lemon tree. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's growing so well. And we're going to plant catnip in there just for you. And here is our little tree we got from Christmas time. And here is our palm tree. And of course, here is the coleus. And you guys, I've had this ever since I moved in. Again, from the previous owners. And we have little babies growing down here. Yes, Coco. <gasps> Barbie, I swear. I swear. I, I... I have no word. What am I going to do with you? What am I going to do with you? Um, it's worse. It's worse than I thought. So my friend Kelly at work, hi Kelly, thank you for giving me this tip. I'm going to use permanent marker on um, these tongue depressors. You can get these at the Dollar Tree or Walmart or order them online. And these are a little bit smaller than I like, but they're okay for right now. And so we just went ahead and labeled everything and we're going to go ahead and place it after I cleaned up the big mess. I can't even believe it. Do you believe it? Do you believe it, Coco? I can't. This one you can eat, okay? You checking it out? Yeah, it's for you too. It's for you too. Yes. Hi, Tweeties. Hi, Coco. Hi, Coco. Hi, Coco. Hi, Coco. Hi, Coco. Yes, you can eat this one. It's okay.
Well, I am so sad. My loofah seeds actually molded, so we're just going to go ahead and throw them out. Ugh. That's terrible. I went ahead and ordered some more, so we'll see how this goes. Um, Barbie, I just want to thank you for watering the floor. What? What would I do without you? What would I do without you? Oh my gosh. I am so mad at you right now. Oh my God. What am I gonna do with you? Oh my gosh. That's what you were doing. <laughs> 